So hello everyone. Uh, I uh, I am Gabriel Bussolo. I'm working for Mercado Livre Brasil, uh, and today I want to speak to speak a bit a bit with you guys about mocking in Go. Uh, I came. I started to work on Mercado Livre and, and working with Go cons by consequence uh, six months ago. And before it, I was working with Java, and I did, when I did this transition, I started to see how things work on Golang and how people are making effort to do things simple. So I didn't install too much frameworks around it, people doing everything more pure stuff. So even uh, I knew it how to do some things in Java, but it was always surrounded by frameworks. And I started to struggle to do simple things like mocking uh, on Golang. And, uh, reading some articles, reading, reading some videos, always missing that enlightenment about the thing. And today I'm trying to bring these things for you guys here. So here I have uh, I, I have built this API doing some course about uh, Golang game testing. And this API basically is connecting to uh, an API that we have, sorry for this, we have on uh, our company. It's an API that we throw in the, uh, the country and throwing some information about the country. So. Uh, basically, just have one one uh, URL, and we have a controller. This controller uh, receive the ID. Going through the service, we have a provider. Uh, get the the BR here, and you throw to our API. Good. So, what is the problem here? The problem is that uh, if I want to write when I run running my my test here, let's draw here test. I have a test that I want to uh, actually test a behavior that is breaking it. So country not found. But when I'm running my test, because uh, on goal is too easy to just throw functions everywhere. And <laughs> uh, basically, we, like on Java, we are obligated to put classes and uh, always filling with up so much things and chunking from works. And here we can just throw functions and make things work. So here, when I'm doing my test, it's working. And the problem is that it's going straight to the API and returning, let's see here, uh, the result. It's returning a 200 on my test that I want, uh, not found. So mocking, it's coming for solve this problem for us. So <clears throat> uh, what do we can do here to solve this problem? Uh, because of time, I didn't rewrite code with you guys. I already have here on my master. I will go check out here. So uh, one of the things that we can do to solve this problem is that like if we check, let me back for my other branch. Uh, as, as I said before, it's easy to just throw functions and get the results that we want. So before it, I was going straight to a function and how can I mock this behavior? Uh, and other thing that is different on Golang, it's how to de they are, they are deal, we are dealing with interfaces here. Uh, we can do composing with interfaces. It's so easy, you just throw interface here and you implement a, uh, uh, down it. So it's a bit different for me who was working with Java before. So here I just wrote the function and the function is calling another function, fun function. So for mocking, one of the strategies that we can have is that, uh, let me do check out here, is start work with interfaces. <clears throat> and on my service now, I have an interface that now I have uh, the behavior that I'm expecting from the country, from the this service, and making this function now associated to the struct. So now I can implement this interface. It, and because I have this interface here on my controller, now I'm able to uh, create another struct implementing the same interface. And this is interesting on Golang, like we can, uh, it's it's not a bad practice. You implement some stuff like this. Uh, so here we, I implemented an interface, I'll call it mock, and I'm returning a function that I declared here, the type of the function. And when I'm going through my test, now I can, uh, because of this function that I declared here, and I'm using on the function that I'm 
associate with my mock, I can say the return that I'm expecting. So uh, because of this, now if I run my code, yeah, it starts to pass because now I can give the behavior that now I can mock my function. So uh, the thing here is not presenting anything new, but for me, it was kind of enlightening, enlightening, you know, like uh, I'm being working with chunk frameworks and they are doing all by yourself. And you keep, you keep as a something, sometimes not thinking how to do simple things like this, just creating an interface and I can mock the behavior because now I, I accomplished the contract of the interface so I can associate it here, a function with return the behavior that I want. And now when I'm using the server here through the country, yeah, it's working, it's working fine. It's giving the result that I'm expecting, that I'm putting here. So uh, now I'm not connecting with, uh, but here I'm mocking a simple function and we, maybe we can, we need to mock a HTTPR request. So I would like to uh, give a tip for you guys. I'm learning a lot from this repository here, learning go with test. And this part of mocking is awesome, enlightening a lot. <laughs> it's written from, if I'm not wrong, Chris James. And this article is an excellent article, how to create mock uh, HP mocking in Golang. It's from Sophie. Uh, and this code that I, I present to you guys, it will be on my GitHub here. It's not yet. I will give push. And if you want to keep in touch, my LinkedIn is here. Thank you so much, guys.